Hi guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys like what you're seeing so far, pause this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on. Subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see how I created this look. Keep on watching. Roll in the intro. This is the finale, I think, of my bridal series. I think we're going to do a Walima look. Are we going to do a Walima look for these guys? Definitely. Oh, okay then. We're definitely doing a Walima. This is not the finale, but it's the finale because it's the bridal look. So for this bridal look, I opted for a dark brown smoky eye. I thought I could go heavier on the eyes with colour and intensity because the outfit itself was quite nice and light. So to keep that balance there. My jewellery is from Fabiha Fashions. They are smashing it with their bridal jewellery recently. If you're on a budget wedding and you're looking for budget-friendly jewellery, Jewelry, bridal jewelry then this is definitely something to opt for or go into the shop and look at my outfit is from Seema Saris from Green Street in East London and the top that I'm wearing this is actually a peplum top and I'm not wearing the skirt because on that it was way too heavy and I'm not doing any outfit shots let's get cooking okay I already have my contact lenses in these are Odara by Modest Street and the style that I'm wearing are Wubba and they are sold out they are our best sellers and they always sell out the restock notification always goes up on snapchat so if you're not following me on snapchat make sure you guys are for lip prep I'm gonna go in with my Sephora honey lip scrub special day today and all that make sure all your dead skin is exfoliated and then I'm gonna smack some Huda Beauty silk balm onto my lips really loving the feel of this definitely emollient and very very nourishing on the lips and now to prep the face for my glass skin i'm going to begin with the nyx dewy finish mist spray for my under eyes i'm going to go in with the super drug vitamin c brightening eye gel i like that cooling sensation and the roller ball feel so i'm just going to make sure I put that on my eyelids as well and let that sink into my skin and then for more glass skin prep i'm going to go in look at the smile on my face i'm going to go in with the glow elixir the hashtag is skin like summer and right about now glass skin is feeling like skin like summer so i'm going to put this on my face and my skin recently is just perfection in terms of like it doesn't feel dry maybe it's a change of weather i don't know i'm going to do my brows very very quickly off camera with my favorite yep you've guessed it the mac deep dot brunette to prep my brows i'm going to go in with the patrick tar clear brow wax i cannot get over how well this keeps my brows in place and how well the pomade sits over it as well just going to spritz it to activate it i really do love how my pomade sits over this wax one thing you might find with eyebrow wax sometimes your choice of eyebrow pomade or pencil won't really show up properly over the wax okay brows are on now to make them furthermore hd i'm going to go in with let's not even risk it with something new i'm going to go in with my favorite la pro girl concealer in the shade pure beige i love this for just ease of application it's just so super super quick i use this for like my everyday brows for my glam brows and it's just the perfect shade for my eyelid but also the formula is just so easy it just gives you so much movement and so much flow for my brow highlight i'm going to go in with my favorite sephora delicate glow highlighter i'm going to pick that up with a flat shader brush and i'm going to put that on the high points of my brow okay we are going to go and play with matte browns from the morphe 35 om palette for my transition i'm going to go in with this shade here and i'm literally going to dust that and merge it with my brow highlight Light, keeping everything rounded this bit will really depend on your eye shape but i just want it all nice and rounded and i don't want to wing anything out either then for a gel base which i don't have i'm actually going to go in with my mac cosmetics deep dark brunette and i'm going to go in with a dense brush and pick up some of this apply on the lower lash line and then push upwards towards the crease slowly just build that color can you see i'm working in stages guys everything is about stages so i've built my way from the lower lash line buff it at the same time and then merge that into my transition and fear not of the mess here because we're going to blend that in with another shade shortly then i'm going to pick up this lighter shade here to merge the two shades in together i'm just going to blend the two together here first i'm then going to pick up this very dark brown shade here and i'm going to set my entire pomade with this eyeshadow working into the crease just leaning back if you have uh, hooded eyelids and just make sure that it's very nicely blended and buffed 
in that horrible crease that we all have this is the bit where you want it to look very merged and very blended and that's what creates that really soft diffuse and then i'm just going to go back in with the highlighter all the way around overlapping over any transition areas and that automatically just creates that kind of a diffuse and then with a clean blender brush i'm going to buff everything together to get rid of any harsh lines for liner, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Black Ink Liner and literally draw a straight line across my lash line. For lashes, I'm going to go in with Faye Lashes and the styles that I'm using today are called Dubai. Look how stunning they are, please. Thank you very much. Nice and full, nice and fluttery, very wedding ready. Okay, and while my lash glue is drying, I'm going to go in with the B Dot Color Corrector in orange. And I'm literally going to add a little bit here just because of the strength of this color corrector. And I'm going to work very fast with my uh, Kabuki brush. And I'm literally going to press and stamp that in. For my bridal foundation to give me glass skin, I'm going to go in with a foundation which makes my skin look like skin but better my Il Maquillage foundation in the shade 105 this is the woke up like this foundation and I'm telling you this is just one of my favorite favorite ever foundations my skin has never looked so good with foundation on I'm going to take the Il Maquillage stippling brush only because I have it you guys can go in with your beauty blender you guys can go in with a flat foundation brush whatever works for you and then I'm going to switch it to my damp beauty blender switching it up and pressing in this is a perfect match I love it do you know how I did my shade match oh. online they have this quiz this is not a paid promo I'm just so gassed with the flipping way that the quiz works online they ask you all these questions you go tap 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 boom they said this is your shade and I was still a bit weary but when it came through the post and I tried it on I was like girl perfect for concealer knowing that I've got a, a smoky eye on I really want to keep the concealer nice and warm underneath the common mistake that we make when we're wearing a nice smoky eye on the eyelid is that we go very very, very light as per usual with our normal concealers and that's where it just makes us look really ghostly so you need to keep your concealer very very warm underneath so I'm going to begin with my favorite concealer which is the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in the shade Graham Cracker it's nice and warm and it's very salmon toned okay and I'm just going to press that in with a damp beauty blender not forgetting the side of the eye very very important guys very key and there we are I personally don't think that I need to go in with any under eye highlighter otherwise I'm just gonna lose the look but let's see what it looks like with lashes on for contour I'm gonna begin with some cream contour and I'm gonna go in with the Barry M flawless chisel and cheeks contour stick and I'm gonna glide that down my contour zones without overdoing it. I'm not too much of a strong contour lady. We don't want to ruin it, do we ladies? And again, some nice gentle contour on the forehead areas like so. I'm going to take a nice dense brush to press this contour in. Dense brushes press in cream contours so much more better. And this was actually not bad. At this point, I'm going to pause everything and I'm going to go in and set my foundation and my contour with the NYX Dewy Finish Spray. To set my contour, I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Powder Palette. And I want to pick up this shade here. Dust away and set. I've been bumping into people in London, right? And they go to me, oh, your henna looks nice. And we've been seeing it on Snapchat. Are you getting married again? Girl, no. I'm going to take the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in black and literally apply some in my waterline and tight line above. Oh. This pencil reminds me of the um, Urban Decay 24 hour oh, glide on pencil. It's so much more that, creamy. Yeah. Pocket friendly. It's cheaper, guys. I'm going to take a pencil liner and I'm bleeding anything that has kind of pressed over and bled itself over into the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with this brown here. It's just a little bit more lighter and cool toned, just to further soften everything and bring about that real soft smoky eye i'm gonna take the same pencil and just tight line oh my god this pencil is a dream to tight line i'm gonna take some of that sephora highlighter and just add a dot of highlight on the inner corners just to give it a little pop and keep it all illuminated so i'm gonna go in with my morphe blush palette and i'm gonna pick up this shade here on its own which is the closest to my nars orgasm as possible and this is the color driven and hey ho it's not bad you know less of the pink more of the peach definitely 
staring at me. <laughs> Booker, <Yeah>, guys. <laughs> I'm going to take the same highlighter, the Sephora highlighter, and pop that on the high points of my face because like we're nearly done and I'm so gassed. Before we go in with any bronzer to finish up, buff that into my blusher. I'm going to very gently set my under eyes with my Airspun favorite translucent powder. So while this setting powder is literally sitting on my under eyes, I'm going to go in with some bronzer. I'm taking my favorite collection bronze glow matte bronzer and I'm going to take a really soft and fluffy brush and bronze and brown away any areas of the face just like brown up the face in general and give it some sun i'm not doing skin then i'm going to dust away and then obviously the secret in adding the highlighter right here and really buffing it in equally make sure it's exactly symmetrical and then blend it in for mascara i'm going to go in with my il maquillage merge my falsies with my natural lashes go in on my bottom lashes okay and it's over to the lips i'm going to take this kiko milano smart fusion lip liner in the shade 534 and i'm literally going to overline my lips for lipstick i'm going to go in with this dose of colors in the shade truffles this is probably like my third repurchase i love this i restock on it all the time it's one of my go-to lipsticks especially for like smoky eyes i'm just gonna go in and set my makeup with the il maquillage hydrating setting spray now onto the hijab styling obviously it is my wedding day and i am not going to put myself through that strain of having to tie my own hijab by myself so i'm going to call in a hijab stylist and we have none other than same as last week the hijab stylist Dot Mua, my great friend, makeup artist in East London and hijab stylist in East London. I'm telling you guys, it's in the pinning. I'm so impressed with your pinning. Wow, it looks amazing. Thank you so much. It looks completely ironed on. I'm so gassed. She is based in East London. Make sure you guys go book her. She is a makeup artist, hijab stylist. I feel like she is one of the best in East London. So this is the finished look, guys. If you guys would like to see how Kulsum has applied my hijab, my jewelry, and set my bridal dupatta, then head over to my IG stories on Instagram. You can find me on here. And basically, we've uploaded this tutorial for you guys so that it kind of shortens the video on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I shall see you all in another video, inshallah. Until next time, be yourself, keep it real. Assalamu alaikum. Always be honest, keeping it modest.